The advantage of going to University Technical College is you have that real specialist input, uh, both from the specialist staff who are employed, uh, but also from that University Technical College is linked with the staff at the university, the FE College, but also those business partners who are working alongside, making that curriculum as real as possible. And I would anticipate that youngsters leaving the JCB Academy would have the opportunity of actually using those skills immediately when they go out into the workplace or in the higher education. The reason it's starting at 14 is that's the point when young people make their option choices in school. And it's the time when young people in the English education system start to specialise. So if you're going to make a choice as to following a career such as engineering, then that's the natural point at which you would make that choice. The benefits of the student at the JCB Academy are that we, we deliver the curriculum through applied learning. So the science, the maths, the engineering is all joined up. Uh, it's not taken completely out of context. Uh, the massive benefits of well, uh, as well are things like as working with major companies, uh, the students getting to work with real life projects, uh, the masses of equipment and the resource we've got which you wouldn't find in a normal school, um, generally the skills and employability we can give the students as well as the qualifications to set them up better for when they leave. The main difference is the link with um, businesses and engineering companies and our partner organisations. It gives us a much more diverse range of opportunities for the students and it means that they can interact with people from industry and commerce rather than just teachers in the school. The benefits here are, are several things really. You've got things like a lot of machinery here which most schools haven't got. They've also got a, a different level of staff where in most schools you've just got traditional teachers Whereas here, you've got a difference of traditional teachers and people from industry. Uh, you've got people from uh, different areas around the world. So I've got people who used to work in New Zealand, Australia. You've got people like myself who used to be in the Royal Navy. And there's other people that have worked in design and engineering in other areas as well. It motivates me to come to the JCB Academy because I know I want to be an engineer and it makes it easier because there's nowhere else that does this kind of thing. So it makes me want to work harder and pushes me harder to get what I want. At the moment, we're working on a challenge with Network Rail and we've just finished a challenge working with Harper Adams to make an off-road vehicle. I enjoy studying here because it's more practical. It also lets me do things that I wasn't able to do in my old school, like study for the job that I want to do when I'm older, which is being an architect. I'm motivated to learn here because I really enjoy working in the workshops with all the new machinery. Not every school gets a chance to use machinery like this and I feel it's an honour. I'd really like to do well in life and I think what they've given us here is basically will set us up to do that and I think you should push yourself and do the best that you can and they, and they will give you the tools to do that and that's what they're doing here and they're pushing us really hard and we're doing really well here. This is a fantastic building and a fantastic operation and it's very inspiring. It's not only inspiring for visitors like us, the kids were inspired, the youngsters in this academy were really inspired. They were all interested. You could see it in the way they behaved, their demeanour, their attitude. The other really good thing about uh, this academy is that they're linked with local businesses. They have five eight-week terms. That's 40 weeks. That's two weeks more than a normal school for a start. And they have five eight-week terms. And each eight weeks has a particular subject. And they get a local company in. And you saw a really good example. Network Rail came in and has produced an exercise in how do you control level crossing gates? How should they be controlled? How can they be made more safe and all this? And there were the young girls just about to start on that particular exercise. It's practical, it's interesting, they're committed. The opportunity to establish schools which have technical specialisms and give students a thorough grounding in the skills that they will need to go into the engineering and other big important professions in this country, that opportunity is outstanding and it's very important for the future of the country. The JCB Academy offers a whole new type of education beginning at the age of 14 when pupils have got a good sense of where it is that they want to go in terms of their career destinations and equipping the schools with all of the facilities needed to provide a thorough high quality technical education. The equipment in the JCB Academy is state-of-the-art equipment for state-of-the-art engineering. The students who learn here will be very well placed to go on to university and then into jobs in engineering which is going to be the lifeblood of this country in the future. Walsall College um, is proud to be associated with the first generation of un university technical colleges, um, proudly working with the University of Wolverhampton and a range of partners including um, our local authority 
and fundamentally um, the key employer community uh, here in the black country. We were delighted to be involved because um, what's particularly central to Walsall College is everything that we do is linked into vocational practical learning, working with employers and we've had established partnerships with the University of Wolverhampton and we work with up to 2,000 employers every year. Aston's involved with the University Technical College as its main sponsor. Um, we've been the lead sponsor now for three years, ever since we were first visited by Kenneth Baker and Ron Deering. Um, we're involved initially in the expression of interest, then in the feasibility study. We're now actively involved in the design. We've just recruited the principal designate. We're working on the curriculum. Our undergraduate students will mentor the students in the academy. Our employers will actually sponsor the students in the academy. So the opportunity to lead the UTC exactly resonates with our vision and mission of the university and we are totally involved in it. Anybody can become involved with the UTC if they're wanting to employ someone with technical skills. One of our uh, big, I think, USPs for an academy of this nature is that we want every young person in the academy to have a sponsor. And so if somebody's interested, they can come and sponsor a student. We've actually got a brochure that looks at different forms of support and sponsorship. I think at one extreme, you will have a company, it might be very, very small, that one person will be willing to mentor a student, give them that real work experience in the company, but possibly not want to contribute anything else. On the other hand, we've got larger companies that actually want to offer bursaries, offer laptops, offer iPhones, offer resource, further sponsorship, uh, away days. So I'd say absolutely anything goes. Um, if somebody's interested, they can become involved. This is a revolution in the English education system, and it's a revolution we need. Because if we're going to build nuclear power stations and fast train links and broadband everywhere and network rail, all those things, we're going to need technicians, and we don't have enough at the moment.